here this evening to profess my love to this beautiful and amazing woman. Renew our vows is something I knew I had to do. I did not know how to love, care, and respect you like I was supposed to. I was lost and drowning. God knew it was going to take a, true, a strong woman to help me. He has given me, given you the strength to stick it out in all the hard times. We have gotten through so much, and I believe that it's because we were meant to be together. I wouldn't be the man I am today if it wasn't for you. Ever since I gave my life to Jesus Christ, he has been molding me into a better man. He's given his life up for me and the church, and I want to do the same for you. I've known for a long time that I wanted to remarry you. God has reshaped us and our hearts, and still day by day with our church and family and best friends, lifting us up in love, prayer, and God's words we grow stronger together. You are my sunshine with storms all around us. I cannot walk and navigate through this world without you. You are an amazing, godly woman that God has given me. You have given me an awesome children. You have truly blessed me. I don't know, I don't know what the future holds, but I look forward to growing old with you. And you will be hand in hand, pressing forward together, me and you, with the strength and the love he has given us. For my Lord and Savior, I'm truly blessed to have you in my life as my wife and my love. I love you now more than ever, and all the glory to God for opening my blind eyes and letting me see what he has given me. I love you, Jamie Skaggs, always and forever. Could you imagine a beach without sand or a sky without sunshine? Maybe Texas with no sweet tea. We couple things together because they complement each other. The Lord made both of us fully and original and complete, but somehow we are made even better by each other. I pray that the Lord continues to work in our lives each day to make us better than we were yesterday. Through the years, there's been many ups and downs, pain and suffering, most of all self-inflicted because the two of us. But then one came to deliver us from that. He came to give us newness of life. He forgave us for all and redeemed us to walk with Him forever. I've prayed for and dreamed of a husband like you for most of my life. We were together for seven years before I realized that God had answered those prayers. You didn't become that man until God saved you from yourself. And I didn't see that in you until he saved me. Nathan, I've watched you suffer. I've seen you try to do it all on your own without Jesus. I've held your hand as you've tried to get up. I've seen you struggle in the past with addiction and sin just as you did me, but then there was Jesus. I watched you turn into a man of God, a man of God's heart, a modern day David. I saw the Lord allow you to break yourself, but then I saw him extend his hand to you. It's a true blessing when we are allowed to see the miracles from God. Being able to see the amazing things God has done in you is the very thing that keeps me strong in the faith of Christ. I'm so proud of who you are in Christ. I'm proud of the father that you are the leader that you are, and the husband that you are. I vow to fiercely love you in all your forms, now and forever. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love and to always know in the deepest part of my soul that no matter what challenges we may face, we will face them together. And should they carry us apart, we will always find our way back to each other. I promise to remember that neither of us are perfect, but I will strive to remind myself of the ways that we are perfect for each other. I promise to love you as the person that you are and not the person that I expect you to be. I promise to always be the one to listen to you, even when we're really, really old and we can't hear it very well. Hmm. I promise to let you make me laugh when I'm really angry. I promise to keep fighting through the cancer and not give up. But most of all, I promise to continue to pursue Christ which will in turn help me to continue to pursue you. Thank you for loving me and our family. Thank you for working so hard to provide. And thank you for leading us to the Lord each day. And thank you for always supporting me. I love you always and forever, no matter what happens. <laughs> Ethan and Jamie, today you have renewed the promises and vows you made to each other on your wedding day. 
You have further made these promises in the audience of these, your friends and family, and most importantly, your Lord. So it is now with great pleasure that I conclude this ceremony with a renewal, with this blessing. May God's richest blessings be upon this couple this day and every day. May you experience the love of Christ and your love for each other as you hold each other's hands and walk together through this life. Please celebrate this renewal and recommitment to your love for one another with that age-old sign of affection, the kiss. <laughs> Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my So first, I just want to say thank you very much for everybody that has come out tonight. Um, each and every one of you plays a huge part in mine and Nathan's relationship, whether you know it or not. Um, each one of you have taught us something that's kept us going. And I won't waste this. So Nathan and I have been really good friends, and I consider him as my best friend. Um, a lot of stuff that him and I struggle with spiritually in our walk. You know, he checks me, I check him. Uh, that's, we hold each other accountable for that. And uh, I'm just blessed to know them in my life and I'm glad that our families are growing together. We love y'all and we hope many more years for y'all to come. We love you. Thank you.